Welcome back to Information Technology Fundamentals. This lecture is going to cover the use of storage devices. We're going to look at the difference between volatile and non-volatile storage types, and we're going to look at system mess, uh, memory modules and how they differ between desktops and laptops, and we're going to describe the different types and features of hard drives and solid state drives, <coughs> as well as optical drives and flash drives or USB drives. Let's begin with looking at system memory. RAM, like most computer components, has continually been upgraded over the year. The current uh, versions are DDR4. The DDR stands for Double Rate Dynamic RAM. Uh, the first set of RAM was able to transfer once per clock cycle. Then we had DDR2, which can transfer two times per clock cycle. And then we have DDR3 three times and DDR4 four times. So you can see we've been, managed to get more performance out of the same amount of memory. The transfer speed between the RAM and the motherboard must be the same. If you have a motherboard that do, does not support DDR4 and you install DDR4 into it, it's not going to work. The DIMM and SODIMM modules have different pin positions, which makes it impossible to install them in the incorrect slot. Hard disk drives, or HDDs, are mechanical drives that have a platter and a spinning disk inside of them. The platter is magnetic, which stores the ones and zeros. There is a drive head, which reads the ones and zeros. They come in a two and a half and a three and a half inch format. Generally, they're described by their capacity. So you hear 250 gigabytes, a terabyte, etc. cetera. Uh, their performance is given in how fast the platter speeds, uh, spins, the access time to access a piece of data on it, and the transfer rate. There are some pretty common vendors you'll see around Seagate, Western Digital, Maxter are among the uh, most common. Hard drives interface using serial ATA or SATA. Uh, that is the current standard. Legacy drives use something called EID, EIDE or SCSI. Uh, they can also be uh, connected via a USB cable or a Thunderbolt cable. Solid state drives, on the other hand, have no moving parts. They're technically non-volatile flash memory. They're lighter, faster, and likely more reliable than a hard disk drive as they don't have any moving parts. However, they're considerably more expensive, especially when you get into very large drives. There's also a type of drive called a hybrid drive, which uses a spinning hard drive and a large flash memory ca cache to speed up the uh, transfer rate. Although those aren't nearly as popular now uh, as before, likely you're going to have just a hard drive or a solid state drive as an option. Uh, these can be packaged in several different sizes, a two and a half inch drive with a SATA connector, a PC, PCI Express adapter card, or an M.2 adapter card, uh, which are going to be internal in the case. Optical drives are, again, we're probably going to say legacy. They're not used all that much anymore, uh, but they come in three varieties, CD, DVD, and Blu-ray disc. Now, the main difference between these for the computer is the amount of data that is held on each one. CD is going to be the lowest with around 750 megabytes. DVD, you can get between 4.7 and uh, maybe up to 16 gigabytes on one. And a Blu-ray disc is going to be between 25 gigabytes and 50 gigabytes. And the way they store more information is by using different lasers that are thinner. It allows them to put more data on the disc by using a smaller, thinner uh, uh, laser. There are recordable and rewritable formats of these uh, as well. An optical drive unit is going to fit into a five and a quarter inch internal bay. So you have to have a case that supports that. Uh, they'll connect via a SATA interface. Uh, if you don't have room in your case for one, there's plenty of USB external units that can be connected. And of course, they'll be designated whether they read, record, or rewrite and the speeds associated with those.
removable flash memory devices, uh, USB, thumb drive, they're called. They can be uh, purchased. They're relatively inexpensive at the moment. They come in a lot of varieties. They can uh, be quite large, up to 256 gigabytes. There are also the uh, memory cards, which work similarly to a flash drive. They are going to come in a SD or compact flash. Uh, here on the screen, you can see there's an example of what uh, an interface on a computer might look like. They've got uh, four different slots here, one for compact, MS stands for memory stick, so a memory stick, an SD, and an XD card would all fit in that. So whatever memory card you're going to use, you need to make sure you have the correct reader uh, in order to work with it. So we looked at uh, the different types of volatile and non-volatile storage types that you typically find on a computer. We looked at the different types of memory modules used in PCs and laptops. And we described the difference between a hard drive, a solid state drive, an optical drive, and a flash drive.